Hey everyone, Alex here, and very happy to bring you part three of my replay of a Let's Play of the game Disciples 2 as the Empire on the Quest Corpus Delecte. Now, I made a little bit of a boo boo here, and that is I had started recording my playthrough session here, and if you're going to notice where I left off from yesterday, things have moved around a little bit. The reason is, is I was starting to record it and my microphone was muted the whole time. So it was basically a, a newbie mistake on my part, but not a whole lot has happened. My uh, Pegasus Knight unit here, again, I have that mage, or the apprentice in the middle, trying to get him to his mage as quickly as possible. There were two lizard men down here, which I killed, got my stuff back from the first army that I lost, so that's cool. And I've made a second army here with Edwin. And I'm going to see, again, they're all tier 1 units, so pretty weak. I'm going to see if I can level them up using some of these other camps, such as this one and a few others up here. So, that oh, wow. is where I'm at. I'm what? Okay, two mermaids. Yeah, let's... Attack! Just because I know mermaids, they can be a little nasty. If you let them get their spells off. If not, they're real easy and very surprised they're up in the front front row here. Yeah, there we go. Because their spells do paralyze or freeze, that's pretty nasty. Oh, and that was enough to get a mage. My apprentice up to mage. Awesome. That is what I needed right there. So now he has 65 hill points, and maybe he can actually last for a hit. And down he goes. All right, marksman, man at arms. Da -da -da. Again, this is a nice one as well. And I still want to save these units for the other army once they get up to speed. And I still like to find a training camp of some sort. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. I'm listening. And we'll go up here. Barbarian chieftain. Okay. Actually, that'd be that'd be the good one, for the first one for this army here. Yes. Actually, it's tier two. Is it worth to go after this army or keep him for the you know let's keep him let's keep him Again? and my archangel kind of scouting around not much more to see here so i'm going to take her south as well can't believe i forgot to well no i hit the rec uh, record button but my microphone actually has a physical mute button on the microphone and it's flashing when it's muted and stays solid when it's not and I just looked down and it was still flashing so Ugh. lost about I think about 15 minutes of footage it's it's not a whole lot but still <laughs> all right we're back and I want to want to no I want to get around this group unless actually you know what? Is it worth it? Worth it to give it a go? Let's see here. Ten percent damage. Strength. What I want is this holy strength here, and oh, that's no holy armor. Yeah, this is the big one. So this is twenty percent right here. Damage reduction. I really, really need that if I'm going to take on this group. Now, I'm going to do Holy Strength, 20%. And we're going to just kind of jack up this group. <laughs> just jack it up. Celerity. Yep, armor 20. Chances up to 16. Initiative plus 4. Let's see here. Let's 
Let's do some damage. Let's just do some damage. And with some air. Let's hit him with air again. Because I'm a mage lord, I can hit him twice. Even though I'm burning through a ton of magic doing this. It might just be well worth it. Yep, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to trade some items with this guy. Heals target for a hundred? Eh, why not? Yeah, there we go. Staff. It fully healed the user that's used there. Yeah. Let's go with Orb of Vampires and this time actually use the Blade King. Alright, let's see what happens. Gets the first strike off. Ooh, and he hits. Alright. I know he's going to beat up on the other squire, so... I'm going to put this guy in defense. Yeah. He is almost dead, but... Boom! That's nice. Okay. So now, he's not threatened anymore, because he's in the back row. But these guys could still kill him. Oh, the poison will get him. Yeah, poison got him. But, is it worth hitting him? No, let's get him on defense. Because I know my leader can hit pretty darn hard. And I don't need to use his orbs yet. Even if I get two units out of three, it'd be well worth it. And, what's this guy hit? 25, not enough to kill. So I'm just gonna keep him on defense. No. Oh, and there they go. Okay. And I'm going to heal the leader just to see what happens. Okay, 36. Well, it helps. Oh, diamond. Okay, valuable. And... I'm not sure if it's worth healing that guy or not. So I might go up this training camp. And make use of that. So if I can buy one unit that's pretty strong, that makes my army that much stronger because it's all pretty weak. I'm listening. And then make it maybe cycle them out later. Okay, so there's the, there's the thief. Let's get the thief. So basically, we're just heading south. Uh, this army here take the north. Nope, don't want to break the treaty. Kind of tier one units. I think that's all I can do on this turn. Okay, so let's we'll cycle that. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Save up some gold, get up to that mercenary camp, and get much, if they have, a much stronger unit. But pretty much everything's stronger than the squire. Even though he won't go up the upgrade tree, what I can do is I can buy a stronger unit, and this will really help this army out so that the other three units can upgrade a lot easier. And then swap them out later for Squire, and, and uh, then I have three strong units and one weak unit, and then it's much easier to bring up that one weak unit than than four weak units, basically. So let's see here. I have the money. Okay, there's not enough space. Barbarian chieftain, eighteen hundred gold. 50 gold. That's 80 with an axe. 250. Very nice. And I can afford him. Bear, but I don't have two slots. Lizard men. Okay. Master thug. I like him because of poison. His HP is not hardly any higher than that of the squire. Medusa can't afford. Orc. 55. 200. Not bad. Orc champion. Yeah, these guys are really nasty too. Polar bear spearman. So I like something with HP. Uh, okay, then I, I know the wolf isn't. So you know, I'm going to dismiss my dead squire here. I'm going to get something with a lot more teeth. And you know what? 
I like the barbarian. So let's go over here. Spend the cash. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to move up this way. Yes. Continue moving south. Don't push me. Let's see, where's my thief? There he is. Come south. Okay, so this has been looted. I see something down here. Yep, it's the undead army. Okay. Oh, there's a polar bear over there. Okay. I don't think I can get to it. But I can take a polar bear. I'm going to keep my angel hanging back at the moment just in case that death knight comes up to the north. And then I'll call it good. So when you have lots of gold, and this is one of the things about capturing gold mines, uh, healing, not, I can't even afford it, but finding things like training camps, mercenary camps, gives you options you don't normally think of. In fact, this is the first game I'm playing through on Disciples 2 where using things like these mercenary camps is really providing a benefit because usually before I would just crank up my normal units with my uh, native units from my my own race so to speak and just go up that path and not really think about bringing in other units from mercenary camps for example so, oh, spy place to spy my spy <laughs> interesting so but doing it this way where you can't reload <laughs> basically i did uh, uh, some of my previous games i just go oh, lost my main army okay reload so tempting in this game. So actually doing this without reloading, you start to explore other options than just reloading. So I think that's that's a good thing. And since I'm doing it on YouTube and the whole world can see my, my screw-ups, that makes it even better. So okay, there's a polar bear. These guys are in good shape. Let's go for it. He's, he's, got, he's got some loot there, so we're going to go for it. 93. Easily over. I can easily heal that. He will not be long for the world. They're pretty high initiative, though. This is initiative. 70. Yeah, that's pretty high. 60. <laughs> Pegasus Knight do the honors. Pull this guy back up. Almost there. Another 43. Let's just see here. What do we get? Elven boots. Okay. Very nice. <sighs> Again, flying unit, so not that much use. Uh, let's see. Is there something else? Uh, Inventory. Is that elf? So I got two sets. No. Do I have two sets of boots? Sailing on water. Okay. Definitely it would be good for my, my mage to pick up some of this, especially the sailing boots. Because that eats up a lot of movement points. Again? Alright, so let's see here. Oh, no. Here. Infiltrate a spy. Now we're gonna see what we can see here. Um all right, that's a pretty strong army right there. Even though it's only, no, one, two, three. No, it's got four. Yep, that's a, that looks like their main army. This is not their main army. They have two specters there. And that can shut down a lot of things. And a thief, okay. And it looks like they're coming through this gap. For thy high father. Angel, uh, turn guard mode, keep her put. Squire. Alright, so I know that Barbarian, he is going to go after that Squire, so the key thing is get that Squire into defense before he gets attacked by this Barbarian Chieftain. So, da -da -da. And do I have enough for fully armor? Yes, I do. So that'll help. Here we go. Let's go. 
Good. Squire goes on defense. 45. 84, yep. Yeah. Here. And I don't want 75. It's 100. He's at 58. This guy has 110. That is really close, but we can give it another go here. Almost, almost dead. But we got, we got enough to take this, this guy down. Yeah, 72. Let's get him in. On the action here, as long as they don't miss, and they didn't. And yeah, get him up, and hopefully they. Bingo. There we go. Okay, so now they're tier two. We got a priest and a witch hunter. All right, we'll work a bit more with that. So they can take take a bit more of a hit. This guy again. He w there's there's no progression in tiers if you got a kind of a neutral unit like this, but they level up. Again, they get better attack, better chances to attack, more HP, and it goes up in a kind of a linear equation. So, but this is a pretty strong unit. I mean, hitting for 80 is is no uh, no slouch. So he can definitely pull his weight. No, nope. what is this? A marksman. Uh, let's see. So I know he's gonna hit. Actually, yeah. Why not? Can I hit this guy? Yeah. But you know, doesn't hurt. Spend some mana. Put this guy down. What I want to do is just hit the marksman once with my uh, leader so he dies in one turn so I don't have to go through it with two turns because he can rip apart this back line here that's what I don't want okay here we go there's the poison uh, okay he's only facing the squire so Where this comes in here. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill the marksman. This guy's got enough to kill anyone. So, yep. It's just, just to get the pressure off my witch hunter. Uh, 40. 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damage to 39. 59. It's not going to be enough. Oh boy. I'm going to lose one of these guys here. I'm going to, well, let's just see what happens. Go. It's initiative. Oh, and the priest lives. Awesome. Okay. Boom. Take him down. Whew, that was really, really, really close. But it worked. Priest is alive, so he got the XP. 33 XP all around. And now, I'm on my way. So that's not a worry. Okay, let's see. This guy. Yes. What? He's moved, he's moved, he's no, moved. Okay, and we can roll the turn here. That was close because that was well. That was because of the the holy armor because that marksman struck for forty. The priest had forty left, so I thought he was dead. But the holy armor was a twenty percent reduction, and that was just enough to keep the priest alive. So that was a real gambling throw. Oh no! What's what's the AI doing? What's he after? But that was enough to uh, keep my priest alive. So that really really worked. Oh. Oh. Yeah, this <laughs> this thieves uh done. 
Let's see what happens. He's got these target practice. Huh, <laughs> and he leveled up, figures. I'm just cannon fodder. But you know, this ghost has taken out that rod from that gold mine. Is it worthwhile to leave that ghost alone? Let her take out this rod. At least this rod, and then I can claim it. So this is their main army here. This is my main army here. By order, sire. Mm -hmm. Am I high enough to take on these guys? Well, that warlock is not very high level. Well, my magic's not very high either. Okay. I'm going to actually beat a retreat here. I'm going to just head over here. I live but to serve. The reason is I want to get some more magic. I really want to fortify my troops before I engage that main army. Alright, unexplored. Uh, do I take a chance here? Let's see. No, but he's right there. How much healing guys have 200 I don't even have enough for healing all right you know I'm not gonna risk it this time the AI it can go in it can have what it has but not it's too much of a risk with my units and that army in the shape that they are Maybe they can keep this undead armor at the bottom, at the south, occupied. Let's see what the undead does. Now he can engage me if he wanted to. No, he's going to be. He's more interested on the dwarves or with the dwarves than he is with me. Okay, so two fifty. site healing here. It's up at 30, so that gets everyone up except a witch hunter. Okay. It's still unexplored. Let's see, is it worth it? Oh, yeah. oh it's got those two orbs though. Why not? Let's, let's just roll. Okay. I'm not interested in the witch hunter. But I need to get this gargoyle down, but you know what? Let's see. It's, it's time to use this one. And that will go to the rest of my party. And doom. Okay, that takes out that gargoyle. Very, very dangerous. Okay, good. So, actually, these guys don't need to be healed at all because they're not going to be hit. So now we can just wail on this fiend. Okay, 60. And poison. But he hits really hard. I think, yep, yeah, that's. Nope, not quite enough to kill him. Close. Really close. And down it goes. Oh, my leader leveled up. Cool. Four hundred gold. Orb of fear. Okay. Well, I used the orb. It's disappeared. But well worth it. It healed up pretty much the rest of my party. And this one paralyzes an unit. This is the nice thing about the mage. They, they can use things like this. Orbs, tomes, staff, scrolls. Good stuff. Yes. Kind of wish I didn't lose my first army. <laughs> but gives me a chance. Okay, so these guys are staying put. 
And where's that ghost? Okay, the ghost went away. It's one more. I, I am not going into that, that place there. Uh, so again, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play defense here. Yes. Pull them back. Some no, guard mode. Yes. Set him. In guard mode. Just see what I can do about those two guys. If I'm gonna engage them, I really want to get magic and pre-fortify my troops. Okay, unfortunately, oh, you know what? Should I ever take this town? No. Yeah, definitely worth it. Take it at some point. Let's let's make another thief. Get him going again. Thieves are really important because they are your eyes and ears in the field without risking your main army, and that is so crucial. And a lot of people really underestimate that, but it's actually very important. Okay, I'm kind of flushed with cash here. So, let's see, I built all those structures. Um, these structures are good. It's just worthwhile to finish this build chain. Well, let's build a tower. Yep. No, it's a temple. Okay. But now that gives me the wizard once I get there. So, cool. Thy command. Okay. He's on guard mode, so I'm going to keep him keep him there, stay put and just see what the AI does. Two, two good armies. Don't feel like risking him. Okay, yeah, I claim that. I kind of opened the way up, up to here. Did he claim that village? I'm wondering. No! Okay, that ghost is in. Well, I was gonna say that ghost is in range, but now he's moved his main army here. He might very well take that town. You know, I might just let him. Okay, arcane knowledge, banner bearer, pathfinding, arcane lore. Because I have some tomes here. Pathfinding artifacts. I even wear boots. <laughs> I don't see it here. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go with just a straight up 20%. Always, always yes. useful. And keep guard mode. So now you can move at 25. And that helps. Especially on these ro roads here. And we got. Okay, Barbarian Warrior and a Barbarian Chieftain. And wherever they pile up on is going to be in pretty bad shape and I want them to pile up on this guy because he's got the XP or the HP to, to handle it but I'm in no rush in fact I'm going to actually pull him back here just a bit again use my magic I command. No, I guard. Again, it looks, it looks like I'm playing very passive. But I'm playing more cautiously. Because I'm not going to reload. Unless I get completely wiped, but I'm just going to stop the let's play at that point. But I'm going to let my allies take the brunt here if I can, because my dwarven allies are actually in a better position than I am. And I want to take have them take the brunt. Let's move them down. He thinks I'm kind of a crummy friend right now without helping him out. Oh, and there's the rod, but I can remove that rod. No! That, un, that death knight is just cleaning up right there. Ooh. Okay, well, 
It was a demon that moved out there and it was neutral. Okay. So I got 300. Definitely worth while to get that 20% reduction here. Even if I don't get the healing. Can do strength. I'll give it a go here. I hope that my positioning is correct. Let's go find out. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. So he's gonna hit for 110. He's gonna hit for 88. He only has 140. So you know, what? I'm gonna keep this guy on defense. Okay, he went after him. So I can blast these guys down. Get things started. He's gonna take a nasty hit from that guy, but Yeah. He's got the XP, but it'd be well worth it. Okay, so he's pretty good. So I'm gonna heal them. Again, he's they're not threatening the back row, which is nice. It allows me to do what I'm doing here. As long as he doesn't switch this target here. Oh, very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Right. Let's see here. He's, what is he? 43 left. This guy hits for 55, so I'm gonna play a little dangerously here. He's 110. 50 with armor. Alright, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a gamble here. Yes, he's got initiative. Don't miss, and he didn't. Okay, good. Now let's just do our thing. You know, this is time I actually put this guy on defense. Because now he cannot hit my witch hunter. Yep, this guy's it's it's over. Unless he can overcome my healing. He is fini. There he goes. More spot healing, I'll get back to the witch hunter. That was 104 XP. Awesome. Yeah, Spirit Wolf, Barbarian Morin, and a Barbarian Chieftain. Oh, and there's a Infernal Mana Node. Let's see if there's anything up here. You know what? I'm not going to take that yet. These guys are still too low level. Even with him, they're still too low level. I need to be up to kind of tier 3. These guys be in better shape before I take out something like that. Because they'll have a de defensive bonus. But I, I can get my angel moving up here and play that node. Door's pretty much gone at this point. That's a lot of enemies. I want them to kind of just plow themselves against the the dwarves here. And look for an opportunity. But this looks about to be the only passage down. Okay, he's using some, some ice spells here. We haven't seen the dwarves' main army yet. But he's out there. Whichever one of these are. Okay, that ghost is going to threaten my rod, so he, she's, she's cooked. <laughs> Plant a rod. No, can I plant a here? Nope. Here? No. There? Okay. And it's just. Ugh. Yeah, figures. But in the next turn, I'll claim it. Okay, 
Where's that ghost? Okay, no, she's right there. So we're gonna whack this ghost here. Yep, yeah, Ghostbusters. And down she goes. And just just a hair. Move him over. Just my thief. Get my thief out in front here so I can get some get some eyes. I'm listening. I knew, but you served, my lord. Okay. I'm trying to think what to do with this... This army here. Ooh, we can take, uh... Yeah, that, that, those ruins there. Right. So maybe, yeah, build up some... Some magic and take them down. Making their presence known here, they take exception to the undead coming into their into the turf. Hello. The only thing I'm worried about is that. That Death Knight is getting stronger and stronger each time he wins. And that's the thing I'm worried about. You can actually give some time for my life mana to, to generate up, even though I got I got two nodes here. Third one would be nice. That move to run? No, I was not claiming it. Yeah, waste of money, but oh well. Let's get the inferno. Thy command. Right, I'm gonna move out front here. Okay, dwarves still have the city. Thief, death knight. I come across the top here. I don't know. Let's see if this is smart or not. I'm listening. Lord, again. Okay, thief. I'm gonna put my thief out front. If the guy's gonna go after someone, I want him to go after the thief, not the Pegasus Knight. I want the Pegasus Knight over here on the right, in case the undead move this way towards the elves. I can kind of flank him on the side. Not the elves, the dwarves. <laughs> it's not the expansion pack. Let's see what the AI is. Yeah, it's getting pretty crowded in this little section of the map. Okay, he's going away. This goes. This opens up some opportunities, and he's making a kind of a retreat here. He didn't like what he saw. Yes. You know what? It's time to get my archangel's butt moving. Let's get her down here. For this no, one, not. can I get in a position to hit? No, I, so, for some reason I gotta go around that altar. But there's the mines. I can get some more gold here. Oh, or champion and ogre. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep him there. But just in case, yeah, I gets any ideas. Nope, no, not holy strength. I want holy armor. Yep, give, give some armor here. And you know, I'll give them a spot of celerity. Let's make sure they get it off. They, they're pretty quick, but I just want some more insurance. Okay, Archangel moved. Uh, I was going to assault these ruins, but not yet. 
Not yet. That's okay. They're not going to come out of the ruins. But keeping my Pegasus Knight alive is going to be the primary thing. So my Arch Archangel can get down here and claim. If I can get claim both of those mines, that would be nice. But no, it looks like the AI is going to claim that first mine there. If I'm not quick, he's going to claim the second mine. Actually, no, I don't have enough magic for that. Yes. I say I have the, I have that haste spell, but I have to research it. I, even then, I don't think I can get there in time. So. By command. All right, I didn't move. And Death Knight's come up. What? Should I engage or not? So I don't have to deal with this guy. And I got the Death Knight, their main army, coming up. You know what? I'm not quite that brave. Not yet. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shuffle down here in the middle. Dwarves are going to reclaim that mine. That's okay. I'm not hard up on gold yet. Hmm, would I be a jerk if I planted a rod right there? <laughs> oh, does that break the treaty? If yes. I plant a rod on their territory? Oh, what's it say? Death Knight ran away. Okay. Now I'm going to smack these ogres. And this time I'm just going to use uh, Holy Armor. Attack! I'm going to keep one for healing if I need it. Okay. Okay. They're focused up on this guy. So he's going to take a beating. You know, I'm gonna start with the orc, orc champion. So I think he's got armor. Does he have armor? Yeah, he's got 20 armor. Well, the ogre has no armor, but a lot of XP and he hits really hard. I'm gonna put him on defense. So, ah, figures. But I want the orc champion poison because the poison goes through the armor, and that's key. All right, he went after the Pegasus Knight. Okay. That's okay. Heal him up. Whew. Actually, let's get poison on the ogre. I'm going to be a little, a little daring here. Can keep him on defense. Right, so this time he decided to go after the Inquisitor. Are really going after him, but that's what the Imperial Priest is for. Again, nice thing about that single target healing, very high healing, you can do strategies like this. Uh, 60. Yeah. Let's say usually the Pegasus Knight has enough to take him out. Actually, the poison will have taken him out. I just want to make sure. Missed, but it's not that big a deal. Hit for 60, but I heal for 80. Can hope we get some really good XP. There we go. Took him down and heal this guy up. And we're getting 106. Yes, and that XP adds up really quickly. Where are we at this point? Okay, Imperial Priest is a long ways to go. 
and he's on his way. Imperial Assassin halfway there, but he's not gonna tear up any further. He's just gonna level up. Inquisitor. Okay, so the Inquisitor is about the next one that's gonna really be leveling up. So that's probably the next building I should build. Actually, 1886. Let's actually do that right now. So frontline units. Got the torture chamber. Now build the magistrate. 1500 gold. And there's the magistrate. Okay, and that gives me the Grand Inquisitor. So very nice. They have a ward against fire and immunity against mine. 100% holy mace. 50 initiative, but no armor. A nice unit, a nice unit nonetheless, especially with those wards. Like Since I'm finding the undead, that makes nice. And this guy, I'm just gonna keep him parked for right now. Let's see what the dwarves do. See if they notice I'm going to be a jerk here in a minute. But again, oh, I don't know. If planting a rod on their terrain type violates the alliance or not. I know it pissed me off. <laughs> okay, just grab the angel, archangel here. All right, let's, let's just see. Ally load. Nope, can't do it. Can't be a jerk. <laughs> Cannot be a jerk. That's all right. I'm defeated. But you know what? This time I'm not going to take chances. So I'm going to here. On my level two. Haste, 200. And it takes 200 to cast. Will we gain 50% of their initiative points, though? For thy high and I want this gold mine. Yes. Boom. There. More gold is the better. Infernal Knight, Onyx Gargoyle, Ink. Ooh. Ooh. The real danger is that Incubus. The Incubus is one of the most powerful units in the game to the point of being overpowered that is too much shutdown okay i'm gonna discretion is the better part of valor and i know the undead is this way but yeah, i'm feeling kind of confident now we're in decent shape and there's the death knight okay And it's a neutral town. That's a merchant. All right, I'm gonna pull back just a little bit here. Yes. And hit the button. But getting that gold mine, it's gonna be nice. Because now I can use that mercenary camp, I could build another army and just fill out with those really strong units from the mercenary camp. Or speed up the building of my capital. And again, they haven't hit that middle ruins here. It'd be nice to find another life magic node, though. 25. Yep. I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna put them in guard mode. I need to get more magic because I have blown through all of my magic very quickly. Because I also want to assault that center ruin, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot that turn. Hit the button and wait for the next turn. It really is all about getting that magic to come back. Again, I blew through it all. <laughs> okay, dwarves upgraded that city. Probably a good idea. That really, that city really is a central focus on this map. Okay, that death knife is really close. Okay, 
unholy strength. 20% greater chance to hit. 20% greater chance to hit. No, I need call to arms. It's 100, 200, 100. Uh, is it really worth it? Uh, what do you think, guys? Wait, well, first of all, there's my thief. It's my thief on the action. That was not enough points. Thou ask. I give this guy a 33% damage boost. That's pretty nice. Well, I can't use scrolls. You know what? All right, YouTube. Here we go. We're just gonna see what what happens. Very strong skill. Attack! But we have to have a good start here. Banshee figures. Okay, but and he missed. Unbelievable. But actually, I never really, this. No, these are pretty weak. Pretty weak units, actually. This is like not their main army. And missed again, of course. Break paralyze. He's all right. You know what? He's in pretty bad shape. Let's hold on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. I meant to put it back in the slot. That's. Really not good. That's really not good. Oh, there goes the mage. Again, he's immune, but everyone is just getting hit. Let's take out this death lord. Okay, he missed. She missed that time. Okay, let's get this guy healed up. Break their paralyze. Boom. Oh, okay, that takes out their damage dealer, and she's she's making a run for it. Okay, so enough of this. Now he hits. Oh, um, you know what? I'm gonna bring my mage back here. Let's just see if that's enough. Yep. Got her. Okay, let's get him up. Again, he didn't get all the XP, but he's got some of the XP, and I burned up quite a bit of uh, actually most of my items. But the army is dead. Life potion, potion of healing. I think I got my potions back. That's good, more or less. Okay. Alright, well that takes out the night, but that was not their main army. But now we can start pushing south. Yeah, I'll keep him here. I live but you serve my lord. Don't push me. Yep, sorry, but all the magic kinda went to the Pegasus Knight. So again, my wizard just cooling his heels before he goes in there. Basically, just needs enough magic to again do a celerity and um, what else? The holy armor. Because I know that vampire. He's he, he's he's nasty. He's there. Okay, well, attack. This might work pretty well. Yep. So this is a good chance to actually get some healing in. Kind of, kind of going full bore here. But I know she's gonna run for it, so. 
I can get two cycles of healing here. Okay, that works. And next, we'll do the Inquisitor. Get him up. All right, just a little bit of XP. Every little bit helps. The thing is, this is a neutral city here. Yeah, Orc Champion, Orc, and Troll. Very nice, and they can't hit the back line. I'm listening. We're gonna whack this route here. Take out, and we'll get another death magic note. Now here, I'm not using death magic at all. <laughs> I'm using 2150, but if I could deny the death magic to my opponent, that's just as good. Who knows, there might be a life node down here I can grab. All right, maybe like about two more turns and then I'll call it good for this let's play. And kind of took some risks, played defensively. You saw some back and forth with my turns, not taking too many risks. But it actually came out pretty good so far. And he's not happy I'm there. Thief, unless he moves his main army up. There's not much he can do. Then Prayfoot is growing more impatient with every passing day. Much time has passed since we said on her day. Hope and strength that we'll see her alive again. Oh, well. Yeah. The dwarves are going to turn on me. I know it. I know it. I know it. <laughs> These are surly friends at the best of times. Yes? She used her thing. Okay, actually, you know what? Now would actually be a good time. Okay, enchanting units will receive 20 damage to attacks. But I was saying, now's a good time to actually take this fortress here. And I got 150 left. 200. Greater chance to hit. Don't have enough life there. But again, I'm going to use my celerity and I'm going to use that orb, yeah, orb of fear. Lord. Do a little shutdown. So let's just see what happens. So he transformed. Oh, he had transformed into the barbarian warrior. That's unfortunate. We gotta chop this guy down. Alright. Let's see what there's 50 damage to all units. We got 75. Nope. Yep. Let's use the orbit fear. Paralyze him. Get this guy up? Take one. Oh, whack this guy. Yep, let's take him down. Why does he keep? He's passing for some reason. But that's okay. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. I don't know what the AI is doing, but <laughs> I am not going to complain. It may be that orb of fear. I really don't know. It, it may have be stronger than a paralyzed. But... Boom! There he goes. Very nice XP. One thirty-six all the way around. Two hundred gold. Older vampire orb. You foul creature. Keep aware of her movements. Okay, so princess isn't there. Do I keep looking? But I do have an elder vampire, and I can summon him in battle. Very nice. And actually, I mean, I, I that's enough to take out this town here. If I use that elder vampire. Yes. All right, this guy, he's gonna stay put just for the moment. She's gonna stay there. Uh, I have a thief, yeah, there's a thief. Let's get my thief forward. 
And we'll hit the turn button. Okay. When you're a mage lord, you burn through magic like it was water. And that's why having these these magic nodes is so important. Okay, this guy made a lot of units. He's coming forward. Place to spy. Where's where's Gandalf? Gandalf. Okay, he's there. Yeah, you can't see him, but he's there. All right, we'll move him up. What? My command. And I think, yeah, I think they can they can hit this town here. All right. I'm going to do call the arms. More man. Oh, more man needed. Yeah, you know what? It's worth it because these guys need to be hit really hard. So I'm gonna do more one more turn. Again, this is like civilization. It's one more turn. It is like Pringles chips. <laughs> it's one more after one more after one more. <laughs> it's just how addictive this game really can be. I know these dwarves, man. They're they're getting pissed off. Ooh, and there's the main army. Okay, put him on defense. And let's just see if I can get my, get my archangel out of here, but probably not. So much for her. And this guy have leveled up again. Holy cow! All right, we gotta take this guy on. He's in pretty good shape. All right, here we go. Last battle. We're going to do that 33% increase. Problem is, do I hit this guy or do I hit the town? So if I hit the town, then I have the defensive bonus of the town. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I have a hundred left, and let's do celerity. It's not not enough for holy armor. If I can get into this town, I can heal my army and get them in place. Okay, let's get poison going on this guy. Of course, Inquisitor very quickly goes into defense. Clovis, I gotta, gotta take out this middle here. Just does his thing. That's where he goes. Okay, he's they're going after this guy. 196, yeah. But we can take out this middle orc. Yep, there he goes. So he's 120. 96. Look at that. 42 armor. He's. Yeah. This guy, he is going to stay on defense. The mage going here. 72. Ooh. Oh! Alright. Oh. What do I do? He's got 157. Okay. Who bites the dust here? I'm gonna get him up. Important thing, get him poisoned. Okay, actually, you know what? Um, that's, that's not, oh, yeah, you know what? I could've used that on him. Uh, 
guy hits, yeah, he's gonna do more damage than I have HP, at HP for. All right, yep, just gotta, we just gotta go for it here. On defense. I'm gonna lose my leader, I know it. Yep, and I lost him. As long as my Inquisitor stays up, though, he's gonna be in good shape. And there goes the Orc Champion. Very nice. Keep him there. 80, 72. But I heal for 80. There we go. Now it's just chopping down this troll. This actually works out pretty well because all my units that really need to level up will level up. The leader, the leader can, can sit this one out. Him not getting this XP is, is not a big big deal. Especially he's gonna be right in the town. Alright, uh, he hits for 144. You. 144, nope, you're staying on defense. Pull this guy up. Down he goes. Let's hit again. Boom, 173. Very, very nice. And I get into the town. All right. The local greenskins on the situation. Many reports seeing vampires roaming in the area. If that is true. It may be closer to finding princess than we think. Okay. Leader's dead. Before finally exchanging units. Yep. So. Oh, there's a banner here. 20%. Ooh, very, very nice. Let's get this guy back on his feet. And can he use banners? Yes, he can. And back his artifacts here. There we go. But yeah, this banner makes things a lot better because now it's 20% armor and I can add to it. It's additive. So now these guys, guess what? Now they have 40 armor. This makes this place very, very strong. So now I'm in a much better position. That was a good call. That was a good call. Even though my leader died, that was a good call. And now... Okay. Priest. Eh, he's got a while. Mage. Not doing too bad. One good battle. A couple battles. He'll be alright. Okay. An Inquisitor. Inquisitor's really close. He's going to be a Grand Inquisitor pretty soon. Alright. Let's see how my other army's doing. He's on his way. Well, I'm going to keep him parked there. And you know what? I'm going to call it good here. This will conclude part 3 of my Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, Disciples 2. A lot of back and forth. Again, really kind of a chess match in the middle. Played defensively quite a bit. And again, I apologize if it was a little boring, but I cannot lose the Pegasus Knight army because my second army is just not up to speed yet. But now, looks like we're getting the story moving along here. But, you know, those dwarves... They're getting pissed off and they really want their princess back. So anyways, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for part four. Take care, guys.